You can go ahead. Our umbrella includes natural resource and agri science by us. Careers like what you probably should do for this. Do you like hunting? Do you like na nature lover? Are you a nature lover out there? Do you like garden mowing and mowing lawns and stuff like that? Are you interested in protecting the environment? If you are, this is probably something you want to get into. Sciences, math, uh, botany, stuff like that. Some like career samples you probably should think about. Farmer, you just need a high school diploma for that one. Oceanographer, undergraduate, physicist, graduate, and some of you are like your biologists and like marine biologists and conservation stuff like that. You need a little more, but it's just graduate, undergraduate, and so. Uh, farmer, education requirements, high school diploma, prior knowledge of farming probably should be a little bit needed. Also need the resource of the land and a little bit money to get started and stuff. Uh, and based knowledge of machinery, you know, if something breaks out in the field, you got to know how to fix it, get back home. Later career to this, is an agri scientist. This scientist is like who specializes in studying of agriculture, making disease resistant crops and vaccines livestock, keeping the population of people and animals healthy. Because you don't want to have disease in an animal that kills our population of humans. That kind of stuff. <laughs> now, like, average salary for a farmer, it like depends on your, you know, you could have 100 acres or you could have 1,000 some odd. You know, it depends on what you got. And how you're doing? Are you a dairy farmer, cash crop? You know, it, there's a bunch of things. So there's no really average set in stone salary. It just depends on your area and what you're doing all of that. <coughs> you want us to play the videos? You want us to play the video? Um, play play this one. Maybe not. Maybe we don't play all of them. Just do a make sure you try to keep it to a minute. God looked down on his planned paradise and said, I need a caretaker. So God made a farmer. God said, I need somebody willing to get up before dawn, milk cows, work all day in the fields, milk cows again, eat supper, then go to town and stay past midnight at a meeting of the school board. So God made a farmer. God said, I need somebody willing to sit up all night with a newborn colt and watch it die. And then dry his eyes and say, maybe next year. I need somebody who can shave an axe handle from a persimmon sprout, shoe a horse with a hunk of car tire, who can make harness out of hay, wire feed, sacks, and shoe scraps, who planting time and harvest season will finish his 40-hour week by Tuesday noon and then paint him from tractor back, put in another 72 hours. So God made a farmer. God said, I need somebody strong enough to clear trees and heave bales. Who can show the whole thing? Yeah, gentle enough. Yeah. The reason I picked that video, you guys may think it's kind of weird, but it kind of does everything. You got to be smart. You got to be able to be resourceful with everything you've got in order to make it and stuff like that. You know, there's nothing easy about being a farmer. Yeah. All right, if you like the outdoors, if you want to have your job outside, this would be for you, they enforce a natural resource with water safety. It can be da dangerous at times and is a demanding job. They also work with, work with the, the law enforcement. A GED is uh, required for, for this job. Uh, but if you have experience, it will help. Um, annual salaries from about forty to eighty thousand dollars a year. Forestry, you study and manage forests, like rangeland and other natural areas, 
education, undergraduate degree, and related careers like tree farmer and tree mover. So if you like dealing with trees and stuff, the job for you. And the average sale is between 4,000 and 6,000 a year, depending on where you're at. Probably don't show the videos. We can show them on Monday. If it as well, just if you like the outdoors, you know, if you want to spend your time out there, just be for you too. It's the study of animals in their habitat. Um, that a bachelor's degree is required. Your salary is around thirty to eighty thousand um, dollars. Some of the forms of this would be like a teacher, zookeeper, uh, a, re a researcher, something like that. Um, Uh, vet. Education is doctor and veterinary medicine. Duties and tasks, it's kind of a wide range of what you actually want to go into. If you want to go in big animals, farms, if you want to go to little, little like dogs and cats, you know, depends on where you are and all that. You need to be like examine animals for like disease and injuries. You gotta be able to prevent those. Prescribe medicine, set bones, dress wounds, and perform surgery. Also you gotta collect uh, animal tissue, blood, urine, feces, and other body fluids to make sure they're healthy and just for science in general. You gotta also be able to educate pet owners and on general care and sanitary measures regarding pet and health sanitation. Let's see. Average salary for a vet is about 84 to 460. It depends on the area <coughs> and like what you are specialized in and if you are a private practice or work for somebody. Related career to a vet is a vet tech. Observe patients' behavior for changes and prevent animal surgery and giving basic first aid and stuff. It's pretty much what's related to like a vet tech to a veterinarian is like a nurse to a doctor. It's just you're dealing with it but you're not full out. You know? Alright, landscaper is just maintaining grounds using hand tools and other equipment and an education level high school diploma. And then like a related career would be grounds, keeper and contractor. And the average salary is twenty-six thousand, seventy thousand depending where you're at, and what you do, how much you work every week, stuff like that. I I uh agree with my dad. He's a transportation maintenance worker. You see those signs on the side of the highway? My dad puts them up there. Best part of the job, he likes working with heavy machinery and driving trucks and stuff. Worst part, working along live traffic because he's got to be out there while the traffic's moving yet. Why he picked his job? He likes to have a year round work because working construction, you get laid off in the winter and then you get back on in the summer and he didn't like that. That's why he picked this job. I asked my dad mom. Uh, Mike Prince, he works for the Office of Highway uh, Safety, and you see these signs all over the road, and that's from his uh, part of the, that's part of his job to put those signs up into, uh, you know, how you can't be on your phone, that's part of him too, I mean, his office, his office made that up and made that a law. He so said the best part is saving lives, you know, even though they may not know. Uh, why why did he choose it? He was a cop first, but then he didn't like that, so he wanted, wanted to make a bigger impact. Uh, the worst part is just hearing all the deaths. The deaths. All right, my dad, Jerry Smith, is a manufacturing engineer, and the best part is he likes to be creative. Like he gets to design machines and stuff, design stuff for his job. The worst part is being busy, busy with multiple projects. So like if he's working on one project once. And why he chose it? Because he saw his brother doing it. Because he has an older brother, and he looked like he it looked fun to him, so he just went into it. And now he's at Jerry. 